Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mohammed Insbam from Saimi Rai State Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. In this video lecture series, we are talking about Tripoli Branch Genco Assistant Engineer Job Coaching of Chapter Thermodynamics. My dear students, already online coaching and offline coaching has been started in Sai Meda Koti, Hyderabad. Everything ka join gale do as soon as possible. Take the decision and join in the Sai Meda Koti, Hyderabad because you are going to have an advantage. So, what is an advantage? What is the offer if you are going to join now? Online coaching kete everything put join out the My dear students, Gurtu Bet Kwani, offline live classes either the Jarutunayo, a video skuda, record Jeshi, Kachitangamiko app lone update Jedam Jarutadi. So, what are you need to do now? Download the app Space Gate, which is given in the link description lo link on the download the app and take the admission as soon as possible in order to prepare for a, a genco assistant engineer job okay sir for offline coaching offer emani offline coaching ki evarithe ippudu join avtaro gurtu vetkoni my dear students after the completion of your total entire course mi course aipena tarata aipena tarata kuda when next coefficient is after the completion of your course, uh, when next notification of Transco Gauchu, Discom Gauchu, the notification was sundo, and notification lo kuda, mi kachi tanga, offline classes ki, malli inko sari, allow jayadam jaru tadi, free of cost. Registration fee unta di, registration fees got kunde, sari pota di. So, in this video lecture series, we are going to be talking about the added syllabus in the Tripoli, that is thermodynamics. Okay? E kotta subject ka abati, Tripoli students ki, oka drawback lag gan pista. But my dear students, this is going to become an advantage in the Genco examination. Genco ki mere prepare out na ro. E subject kora prepare out na ro. Added syllabus kora prepare out na nante kachi tanga you will be having an advantage because other students are not going to be preparing this two subject that is thermodynamics and heat transfer chapter 11 and chapter 12. Okay, this chapter 11 thermodynamics ki samman din chena video lecture series ane the YouTube channel lo kinda link lo kinda description lo link provide just on video one, video two, video three watch and in this very video now we are going to be discussing about uh, second law of thermodynamics in detail concept okay then we are going to solve the gunshot bits where the most expected questions okay the most expected questions and in manam this video lecture series lo watch okay so what are you waiting for press the bell icon to be notified for the every update uh, from this channel and subscribe the channel this video kachi thang amigo purti ka god chayani definitely all concepts are going to be clear at the end of the video like share with your friends so that they can also be preparing for this added syllabus of uh, Tripoli branch Genco assistant engineer job okay let's get started so what is the syllabus okay sir syllabus use code system open system closed system isolated system processes grinch already we uh, previous video lectures low shepardam jargini that is constant volume process constant pressure adiabatic isothermal polytropic process okay five processes apart from this five we are having free expansion and throttling process also that we have discussed in the previous video lectures properties of pure substance so far not yet discussed guys but we discussed about zeroth law of thermodynamics that is thermometry measurement of temperatures first law of thermodynamics which defines about uh, energy conversion heat energy converted into work energy we'll see few questions related to zeroth law first law also in this very video lecture second law of thermodynamics that we are going to discuss uh, in the today's video lecture and uh, definitely next video lectures upcoming video lectures also we'll continue with the second law then we have entropy concept availability irreversibility that is continuation of second law of thermodynamics application of second law of thermodynamics is going to give you entropy then we have thermodynamic cycles rankine cycle that is steam power plant auto cycle that is petrol engine diesel cycle which is diesel engine ideal gas real gas gas mixture these are the basic concepts that we have discussed in the previous video lectures only okay so let's get started with the topic number five that is second law of thermodynamics sir what is this second law of thermodynamics okay second law of thermodynamics talks about two statements the first statement is kelvin planck's kelvin planck's statement what is kelvin planck's statement talks about it states that it is impossible to construct a device it is impossible to construct a device operating in a cycle operating in a cycle to produce work continuously while exchanging heat with a single reservoir while exchanging heat with a single reservoir 
sir what is the meaning of this statement let's try and understand the meaning of the statement by the diagram okay observe this diagram suppose this is a source which is supplying the heat energy let's say heat supplied q1 at a constant temperature to a machine this machine is a engine engine is converting the heat energy into which energy work energy and whatever the uh, uh, waste form of energies are there exhaust gases are there which is coming out the reservoir which is absorbing this is called a sink maintained at constant temperature so if you write the efficiency formula here what is the efficiency formula output divided by input okay what is the output uh, work work is formula is what q1 minus q2 divided by q1 so efficiency formula is 1 minus q2 divided by q1 okay what is Kelvin state, Kelvin statement states that it is impossible for efficiency to become 100 percentage in simply I am telling okay in simple words what he says he says that impossible to construct a device which can give you efficiency equal to 100 percentage what is he saying there he is saying that it is impossible to generate a machine or device which can produce continuous amount of work while exchanging the heat with single reservoir single reservoir impossible single reservoir means this value exists this one does not exist here in the actual case there are two reservoirs he says impossible with single reservoir single reservoir means this does not exist if this does not exist q2 value will become what a zero if q2 becomes zero efficiency will become 100 percentage okay see over it suppose there is single reservoir only this is an engine so what do we supply heat heat is converted into what a work what is the another reservoir here there is no reservoir this is a single reservoir right Yes or no? So, this single reservoir is impossible and this machine is called as PMM2. What is this machine called as? PMM2. Efficiency formula I am writing here 1 minus Q2 divided by Q1. Q2 is becoming 0. That means efficiency is becoming 1. 1 means 100 percentage. 100 percent efficiency is impossible. Okay? If it is possible, it, it is regarded as which machine perpetual motion machine of first kind so perpetual motion machine of second kind of second kind why second kind because it is violating the second law of thermodynamics why to pmm2 violates second law of thermodynamics which statement Kelvin Planck's statement. Okay. So, Kelvin stated it is impossible for a machine to have 100 percent efficiency. PMM2 says yes, it is possible. So, PMM2 is a fictitious diagram, it is imaginary, it is violating which law of thermodynamics? Second law. How can we memorize this? PMM2 2 indicates it violates the second law of thermodynamics. So, this is about second law of thermodynamics first statement that is Kelvin Planck statement. Another statement is there that is called as Clausius statement. In the second law of thermodynamics, we are having two statements. One is Kelvin, one is Clausius. What does Clausius states? Clausius statement talks about refrigerator. It states that it is impossible, it is impossible to construct a device to construct a device operating in a cycle operating in a cycle to produce to transfer to transfer heat from low temperature reservoir to high temperature reservoir low temperature reservoir to high temperature reservoir without the aid of external agency. Sir, what is he talking about? He is talking about a device called as refrigerator. Observe here. Refrigerator is a device to which we supply the work energy. It will take the heat from low temperature reservoir and supply it to high temperature reservoir supply to high temperature reservoir 
okay go through it a refrigerator will work when we supply the electrical energy okay so heat will transfer from which temperature to which temperature from low temperature to high temperature when we supply the external agency if it is not supplied then always heat will flow from high temperature body to low temperature body how the question he will ask you which statement provides the direction of flow of heat or direction of flow of heat that is heat flows from high temperature body to low temperature body is given by which statement answer will be Clausius statement second law of thermodynamics talks about two statement one is Kelvin one is Clausius Kelvin talks about efficiency cannot be equal to 100 percentage Clausius talks about heat always flows from high temperature to low temperature heat from low to high temperature impossible without the aid of external agency okay go through it now let's write the formula the formula is COP the meaning of COP here is coefficient of performance coefficient of a performance coefficient of performance formula is desired effect desired effect divided by work work of compression output divided by input so here we will be having two types of devices one is heat pump COP of a refrigerator is there COP of heat pump is there okay COP of refrigerator indicates cooling effect so low temperature is what we require this is the area for refrigerator this is the output Q2 is the output for heat pump Q1 is the output so what we can write here for refrigerator Q2 is the output Q1 minus Q2 okay here Q1 is the output Q1 minus Q2 remember the logic in the denominator we are writing 1 minus 2 that means 1 is a larger value 1 is a larger temperature 1 is a larger heat if you have this larger heat here in the numerator we have 2 2 means low temperature for understanding better I am writing like this T2 divided by T1 minus T2 this is T1 divided by T1 minus T2 okay in terms of temperature the formulas are valid for only reversible this formula is valid for both reversible and irreversible reversible means without friction irreversible means with friction okay this is frictionless only temperature formula reversible frictionless car not ideal when these type of conditions are mentioned then only we can use the formula for temperature okay so here we can see the formula for the refrigerator in the numerator we have lower temperature divided by temperature difference that is high temperature minus low temperature okay so in the numerator whenever we have this second value it is for refrigerator observe in the denominator we have which formula t higher minus t lower so in the numerator if i keep the lower temperature it is for refrigerator if i keep the first term that is higher temperature the formula is for heat pump the formula is for heat pump remember that logic okay go through it so cop how many formulas we have here two formulas this is actually regarded as q2 divided by w work of compression this is the formula of q1 divided by w work of compression work formula q1 minus q2 so now we know about all the three devices that are first one is engine second one is refrigerator third one is heat pump for engine we have efficiency for refrigerator and heat pump we have cop that is coefficient of performance and coefficient of performance value is always greater than one COP value always greater than 1, efficiency value always lesser than 1. Okay. Now, let us talk about the relations in between these three. We know the formula efficiency is equal to Q1 minus Q2 divided by Q1. The formula for COP of heat pump okay, is equal to Q1 divided by Q1 minus Q2. So, can you compare and tell me what is the relation in between these two formulas? These two formulas are reciprocal to each other. Okay, go through it. Q1 minus Q2 by Q1, Q1 by Q1 minus Q2. So, what is the relation in between these two? So, efficiency is equal to 1 divided by COP of a heat pump or efficiency into COP of heat pump is equal to 1. So, this is a standard formula that we can memorize. Apart from that, there is one more formula. COP of heat pump minus COP of refrigerator is equal to heat pump formula q1 by q1 minus q2 refrigerator formula q2 by q1 minus q2 if you take a difference in between these two what are we going to get q1 minus q2 divided by q1 minus q2 that is equals to 1 okay 
it indicates that cop of heat pump minus cop of refrigerator difference value is going to give you unity so this is the second formula so what are the two formulas formula number 1 efficiency cop equal to 1 or both are reciprocal to each other second formula cop of heat pump minus cop of refrigerator is equals to 1 go through it so these are the two formulas that we need to memorize as the relations in between engine heat pump and refrigerator okay three formulas two formulas relation between three factors okay go through it now let's see the question number one what is the question number one given thermal reservoir that provides heat energy for a device okay heat energy for a device i told you in the first slide itself okay there are two energy reservoirs what are they first one is source second one is sink source will supply sink will absorb okay pause the video and note it down okay let me uh, go to the first slide uh, you pause every slide and try to note it down okay this is the first slide which is giving you the syllabus pause the video note it down second slide talking about kelvin planck statement question number one is source pause the video and note it down next slide talking about the efficiency of the engine and pmm2 third slide talking about the clausius statement and cop basic formula cop of heat pump cop of refrigerator okay first of all, i mean let me go back this is uh, regarding the cop you can pause it here and note it down next slide relations in between the cop and efficiency and refrigerator heat pump efficiency refrigerator okay next one this is the question so now you can answer the question what is the thermal energy reservoir thermal energy reservoir which is supplying the heat energy source source is a thermal energy reservoir which will supply the heat energy at constant temperature remember on this point also this is also important people think like when something is giving away the heat energy then what happens is temperature decreases but no its temperature will be remaining constant what is the example of a source example of source is sun sun is supplying enormous amount of heat energy but is it sun decreasing its temperature no so source is a best example sun is a best example for what source so thermal energy reservoir that provides the heat energy that provides the heat energy what is the answer going to become source what is the answer for sink sink is thermal energy reservoir which will absorb which will absorb the heat energy continuously at a constant temperature. What is the meaning of system? System is a prescribed state of matter. Prescribed matter. Prescribed quantity of matter we can write. Prescribed quantity of matter. We can write like this. System is a place or space whose properties are unknown whose properties are unknown but they are to be but they are to be investigated but they are to be investigated okay if you want to go in detail about the system we can write like this also that is systems are system is a place okay this is a place or space whose properties are unknown to it, but they are to be investigated. Everything outside the system, everything outside the system is called as what a surrounding. Okay, the line which is separating the inside and outside, this line is called as what a boundary. Okay, then we have types of system in the first uh, topic itself. How many types of systems are there? There are three types of system. Open system, closed system, and isolated system and isolated system whether a system is regarded as open system closed system or isolated system will be defined based on two properties one is mass another one is energy if mass and energy both are transferring the boundary both transfers the boundary then then it is called as which system open system if mass does not transfer only energy transfers only energy transfers then this term, this system is called as which system closed system neither mass nor energy neither mass nor energy 
transfers then this system is regarded as which system isolated system expected question in the examination is this one also that is he is going to ask you like this system is everything inside surrounding is everything outside so system plus surrounding equal to dash equal to what is the answer going to become universe this is the expected question direct question system plus surrounding equal to dash what is the answer going to become universe ok go through it pause the video and note it down ok let me go to the back uh, so that we see the question number one so what do we have here source is thermal energy reservoir which will supply heat energy at constant temperature sink is a thermal energy reservoir which will absorb the heat energy at constant temperature system is a prescribed quantity of matter place or space whose properties are unknown but they are to be investigated everything inside the boundary system everything outside the boundary is called as surrounding system plus surrounding is called as universe how many types of systems are there open system closed system isolated system and mass and energy both transferring the boundary open mass does not transfer only energy transfer it is called as closed and uh, mass neither mass nor energy transfer is called as isolated control volume is fixed volume in space control volume is the meaning of control volume is open system again fixed volume fixed volume in space okay for now this question explanation is more than enough let's go for the next question you can pause the video and note it down the explanation part also here next question first law of thermodynamics involves the concept of okay let me give the answers for each we know that zeroth law zeroth law of thermodynamics talks about a measurement of temperature that is thermometry thermometry measurement of temperatures measurement of temperatures okay absolute temperature next one next one we have first law of thermodynamics okay first law of thermodynamics talks about what energy conversion Okay, let's talk about uh, energy conversion, law of conservation of energy. Heat energy can be converted to work energy, work energy can be converted to heat energy. Okay, this talks about what uh, energy conversion, law of conservation of energy, first law of thermodynamics. Next one, second law of thermodynamics that we are discussing already. Second law of thermodynamics talks about what uh, a property called as entropy okay entropy in that too we have two more statements what are they kelvin statement and a clausius statement kelvin talks about efficiency can never be equal to 100 percentage clausius talks about heat always flows from heat flows from which temperature to which temperature high temperature to low temperature high temperature to low temperature this is the simplest form where we can understand the three thermodynamic laws Zeroth law talks about temperatures, first law talks about law of conservation of energy, heat is convertible to work, work is convertible to heat, energy, law of conservation of energy, Gurinshi Jepedi, first law of thermodynamics. Second law of thermodynamics talks about a property called as entropy, that we are discussing already in the Kelvin statement and Clausius statement. Now, absolute temperature, for this, what is the correct answer? Zeroth law. Entropy, for this entropy, what is the correct answer? Second law. Okay. Internal energy, energy is here, internal energy d dash q is equals to du plus d dash w, this is first law of thermodynamics equation, where du is equals to heat transfer minus work transfer, heat transfer minus work transfer, this is all about which law of thermodynamics, first law. So what is the first law of thermodynamics is discussing about now, answer is going to become what, internal energy, energy, okay, go through it all the explanations in one slide ok pause the video and note it down let's go for the next question the properties that are deduced respectively from first law and second law first law talks about what energy second law talks about what entropy so what is the correct answer now energy and entropy that we have discussed in the previous slide only choose code sir zeroth law temperature first law energy second law entropy so, he is asking about first law energy, second law entropy, energy entropy, energy entropy is there in which option? Option number 4, that is how simply he is framing the questions, okay. 
I'm not expecting much detailed question in the Genco, but this question, yes, perfectly suiting for this examination. So definitely you have to practice and revise and try to memorize all these correct answers. Okay, let's go for the next question now. Observe the question. The question given is the direction of heat flow is associated with direction of heat flow as in the previous slide itself I told you. What is second law of thermodynamics talks about Clausius statement and Clausius statement states that heat flows from which body to which body high temperature body to low temperature body. So heat flowing from high temperature to low temperature is given in which statement Clausius. Clausius is a part of which law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics observe now direction of heat flow that means heat flows from this is high temperature body and here we have low temperature body. So heat is flowing from high temperature body to low temperature body. This was given by which statement? Clausius statement. Which statement? Clausius statement. So what is the correct answer going to become? Clausius. Kelvin Blank statement talks about efficiency can never be equal to 100%. Charles law talks about uh, Charles law talks about pressure constant volume is directly proportional to temperature PV by T volume constant pressure proportional to temperature this is called as Charles first law and this one is called as Charles second law Charles first law and Charles second law go through it Joule's law option number two what is the question this for this option internal energy is a function of temperature very important question I have to memorize internal energy is a function of temperature is given by which law Joule's law all four options four questions we have created go through it pause the video and note it down so that we can go for the next question next question is second law of thermodynamics is concerned with again repeatedly asking the same question internal energy is talking about which law first law of thermodynamics temperature talks about which law zeroth law of thermodynamics and whereas entropy talks about which law second law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics as simple as that how simply we are uh, able to answer this question zeroth law temperatures first law energy second law is talk about entropy concept chalo pause the video and note it down let's go for the next question the efficiency of a reversible cycle depends only on okay let's go somewhat in detail about this reversible cycle what is the meaning of reversible cycle efficiency formula general efficiency engine formula is sir output divided by input output is work done input is heat supply work done formula heat supplied minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied heat supplied minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied so the formula is efficiency is equals to 1 minus q2 divided by q1 this is a generalized formula which is valid for both reversible and irreversible engine. Heat formula is valid for both reversible and as well as irreversible engine. Whereas, we are having one more formula that is called as based on Carnot theorem. Carnot. Q is a function of temperature. Q is equals to kT. Carnot formula is valid only in which case reversible case frictionless engine there is no loss of energy ideal cycle under this condition only we can rewrite the formula 1 minus q2 divided by q1 as 1 minus q netlar hu k times of t2 divided by k times of t1 k k gets cancelled so efficiency formula is 1 minus t2 divided by t1 this formula is reversible engine cycle formula valid for reversible only. Now we can say here is reversible engine efficiency is depending upon only temperature limits depending upon which parameter there in the formula temperature limits. Okay. So now we can write some important points that is reversible engine Carnot engine frictionless engine ideal engine or ideal cycle all this efficiency point number one of efficiency is dependent on 
dash. Efficiency is dependent on dash. What is the answer? Temperature limits. Temperature limits. Second one. Efficiency is independent of independent of working substance. If you utilize air, gas, petrol, diesel, it doesn't depend upon the working substance to get 100% efficiency. It depends upon temperature limits only. Ideal cycle efficiency depending upon what? Temperature limits. But it is independent on working substance. Suppose, if different ideal cycles, different ideal cycles, there are three ideal cycles. Ideal cycle names are, first one, Carnot, second one, Stirling, and third one is Ericsson. Three ideal cycle names we have. Okay? If three, if different ideal cycles are operating in same temperature limits, same temperature limits, then Efficiencies are or efficiency of each cycle is same. Okay. Efficiency of cycle 1 will be equal to efficiency of cycle 2 will be equal to efficiency of cycle 3. When all of them are operating in between what are same temperature limits T1 and T2. Okay. Go through it. Among which most expected question gunshot bit for Genco examination is first one only. What is that? Efficiency of an ideal cycle, reversible cycle depends on dash. What is the answer? Temperature limits. Okay. Go through the question. What is the question given here? Efficiency of a reversible cycle depends upon. What is the formula for efficiency of a reversible cycle? Sir, efficiency is equals to 1 minus T2 divided by T1. That means efficiency is now dependent on temperature limits T1 and T2. Dependent on temperature limits. So, what is the correct answer going to become now? Temperature limits. It is independent on gas, mass of gas, none of the above. So, correct answer is what? Temperature limits. Go through it. Let us go for the next question. The next question given is for a reversible. This uh, formula, from this onwards guys, up to here, one video lecture is enough. In one more video lecture, we will continue with this series from the question number 7. One more time, I wanted to repeat uh, all the slides. Let us discuss if you have not copied any slide or missed the slide, just go through it once starting from the slide 1, okay, see over the board. This is all, this is regarding the syllabus of the uh, thermodynamics, pause the video now, note it down. Next slide, regarding the Kelvin blank statement of second law of thermodynamics, pause the video now. Next slide is regarding the source, okay. Kelvin blank statement violating the uh, violated by PMM2 perpetual motion machine of second kind. Clausius statement we have at the end we have uh, formulas of COP of refrigerator and COP of heat pump. This is the formula for COP of a refrigerator, COP of refrigerator, and then we have COP of heat pump. Then we discuss relation in between efficiency COP. Okay, thermal energy reservoir that provides heat energy for a device is called source, sink, all the points we have discussed. Okay, go through this one slide, surrounding, open system, closed system, isolated system, pause it now. Then we have, regarding the first law, zeroth law, first law and second law, a brief uh, revision guys. First law talks about energy, second law talks about entropy. Then we have Clausius statement which giving the direction of flow of heat from high temperature body to low temperature body. Second law of thermodynamics is concerned with which one? Entropy. So the correct answer for this question gonna become what? Entropy here. Okay. Go through it. Reversible cycle is dependent upon what? Temperature limits that we have discussed in a a very good explanation where heat formula is valid for both only reversible and irreversible whereas temperature formula is valid only for reversible. Okay? Then standard points regarding efficiency. So this is all about till the question number 6. Okay, Go through it. 
वन मोर टाइम आई वॉन्टेड टू रिपीट द सेम थिंग इन साई मेद कोटी हैदराबाद ऑनलाइन कोचिंग एंड ऑफलाइन कोचिंग हैज बीन स्टार्टेड ऑनलाइन कोचिंग एवरी थिंग का जॉइन गा ले दो जॉइन एज सून एज पॉसिबल ओके ऑनलाइन कोचिंग एवरते इन जॉइन अवतारो लाइव क्लास मन को आफ्ल क्लास जो आयो रिकॉर्डेड फॉर्म ली ऐप स्पेस गेट ऐप द्वारा अपडेट जरूरत है ऑफ्लाइन कोचिंग एवरते इन जॉन अवतारो वाले अडवांटेजे कोचिंग अन तरह को तरह नैक्स्ट नोटिफिकेशन को नैक्स्ट नोटिफिकेशन ट्रास्को डिस्क्रम्स का नोटिफिकेशन पड़ेट खचित फ्री आफ कास्ट अलाव चयन जरूरत है रिजिस्ट्रेशन फी मतमे फाइव हंड्रेड थौस रूप वटवर इट गई आ रिजिस्ट्रेशन फीज मेरे पे चुस्के सरपत ओके सो मई डिर् स्टूडेंट वित् वन मोर वीडियो कंटिवेशन आफ दिस वीडियो ओनली वी आर् गोइंग टू बी सी इन दस्ट क्लास थैंक यू वेरी मच अंटल दैन कीप वाचिंग and uh, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to be notified for the every update from this channel thank you very much this is mohammed zaman signing off